Give me a good story growing up with your brother, Jake. What do you got for me? Oh, yeah. I'm it's sure. And I know I know. when you ask something like that of somebody about a brother, obviously you've got decades of stories. But w- growing up Gruden, you got a good story about growing up Gruden? You and your bro? Well, this is just, you this, this is just, you know, he gets very upset when I tell some of these stories. So okay. sorry, John. But, you know, he, he was very impatient. You know, he, you know, I'd sit in front of the TV and we'd watch TV. He'd be sitting behind me. And if I had an itch on my leg or something, I'd scratch it and, He'd sit on, he'd spit on me and say, "Sit still, dog boy." You know, just things like that. I took a beating when I was a kid. Rich, it was tough. <laughs> but he's a great brother. Man. Of course, but it's yeah, just he, growing I mean, up. He got the uh, opportunities in the NFL that I would have never got without him. And obviously, I had to do a job. You know, uh, learned a lot from him. But growing up was not always easy. So, did you share a room? Did you guys share a room, or no? Just no, no. We were we, we didn't have a very big house, but we. We were close. Okay, close yeah, no, look, look, my two boys share a room right now, and we hear them talking till like, 11 o'clock, and we're telling them, you could keep shot, you know, quiet down, keep whatever. So, but to br- brothers, you share a room. I mean, that's that's something that's really, you know, bonding. So your brother would, uh, he'd give you crap, pretty much. How much older is he yeah. than you? Yeah, he's three years older than me. All yeah, right. he's three years older. My other brother's three years older than him, so, and those two are exact opposites. So they fought every day, and I always just try to keep peace. I just want to play nurse basketball and knee football and stuff like that. <laughs> Usually, I was just breaking up fights every day. <laughs> what do you mean you brought? So your your oldest brother is different from than John. So they they used to fight all the time. Is what you're saying? Yeah, huh? pretty much. Yeah, it was uh, quite the eventful afternoon at the Greeden household. Uh, okay. All right. Does, yeah. And and I guess one one last thing about your brother, if you don't mind. The, the 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 rumor is he can't stand at quarterbacks. Any of his quarterbacks, he's always looking for another one. What, what yeah, do you I don't say think to that? that's true. I okay. think he really likes Derek. In fact, I've never heard him say a negative thing about Derek, and what they did offensively this year was really impressive in my mind. And I know he doesn't like me talking about the Raiders and all that stuff, but uh, I was impressed with every time I put on a Raider film and watching Derek in that offense, I thought they were very, he was, and very good. I, I thought he was dynamite. I mean, look, yeah. you could say there were two – look, week 17, forget about it. You could say there were two quarterbacks that beat the Chiefs this year, Tom Brady and Derek Carr. Those, that's yeah, that's sure. a fact. You know, so, yeah. and I'm just talking about all the time in his career. You know, I, I had Rich Gannon on. And I asked him the same question, and uh, I'm like, "Is I asked him actually, is it true you're the only quarterback John Gruden's ever liked?" And he laughed. He goes, "I don't even know if that's true." About him? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he got his first gig at, at San Francisco, and I believe he was with uh, obviously Joe Montana, and he goes to Green Bay as receiver coach. He was with Brett Favre, so. You know, the, the standards are pretty high for him. Right. That's what he expects. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.